Hey ladies. So I'm going to do this look today. This is um, pretty much a neutral, I want to say everyday, but not really everyday kind of look. It's just like more so, um, it's not too dramatic. It, you can get away with doing it for something that's not that much of a special occasion. And then I also um, decided to show you how I put on my U part wig. So I made this wig myself and I've had it for about three years. I absolutely love this wig. I hate saying absolutely, but I really love this wig. It's like I can throw it on, I can curl it, I can straighten it, I can play around with it. And um, I call it my weekend hair because it has somewhat of like blue tips, but they're dark enough to where it's not too noticeable. But when you go into sunlight, it gets a little bit brighter. So um, what I did, I just showed you how to how to, how I apply my U part wig, and um, so I'm gonna make two different videos. So the makeup look is probably gonna go up first, and once I get the U part wig edited and created, I will link that video below. So hopefully you will enjoy this video. You will stay tuned and watch um, how I got this makeup look, and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, lovelies. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to list all of the products in the bottom bar. I'm starting with Philips Milk of Magnesia and I'm putting that on my T-zone and where I get oily. I sped this up pretty fast because I already have a tutorial for how I do my eyebrows. So I'll link that below in case you would like to check it out. Hello? Yeah, Uncle Baby Girl. Uncle Baby Girl, I'm going to this week. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'm going to this week. Hello. Hi, Uncle Baby Girl. Oh, you want to speak to Malia? Okay, hold on one second. This is the Painterly Paint Pot I'm using as a base. I'm applying it to my eyelid with a brush and then blending it out with my finger. Now I'm using this Black Radiance Face Powder and I'm going to use that as a soft transition color from the upper part of my brow bone. This is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. The first color I'm using is Peanut Butter and I'm taking a small blending brush and putting that in the crease just to create a little bit of definition. Now I'm using the Golden Color Caramel and I'm going to take a flat shader brush and pack that on my mobile lid to use as my lid color. After I pack that color on the lid, I'm going to go back in with my 217 brush just to blend out the edges. And then after that, I'm going to take the color Hot Fudge and place that on the outer corner of my eyes. And I'm using a blending brush and I'm using a very, very light hand with this portion just to create a nice definition on the outer corner of the lid. My camera actually stopped recording, but I actually went back into the outer corner with the color Licorice from that palette, which is a matte black color, just to create a little bit heavier definition. You can kind of see it right here. And now I'm just going to line my eyes with some black gel liner and apply mascara. Now I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and I'm going to use that on my entire face, my cheeks, my nose, my forehead, and my chin. My foundation is L'Oreal True Match and it's the color N7. And then I'm going to take a buffing brush. Oops, I forgot to actually put on my concealer first. So I'm going to take my 
Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer and just cover up some of my blemishes first and then go back in with my foundation and buff that into my entire face. So I recently started using Black Opal's uh, stick foundation and this is in beautiful bronze and I just took that everywhere that um, I contour and I'm not sure why I contour it first but I don't think it really made a difference but I just took it in my the hollows of my cheek and around my forehead and buffed it in with a buffing brush. Then I took my LA Pro Girl Concealer in Cool Tan and I highlight it with this right under my eyes, my forehead, down my nose, um, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And then I buffed it out with my finger in a beauty blender. This is actually a sponge by Real Techniques. I think it's called a complexion sponge or something like that, or a beauty, beauty sponge. But anyway, I used that um, dampened by some Fix Plus in order to help it blend better. Then of course you have to go and buff out the edges and I used the same found, uh, brush I used for my foundation and just buffed around the edges to blend it into my foundation better. And this is translucent powder that I'm putting on my face to set everything in place. Now I'm taking my Ben Nye Banana Powder and placing that on top of everywhere I highlighted and I'm using a flat foundation brush to do that. This is Max Blunt Blush. I'm using as a bronzer just to warm up around the perimeter of my face and I'm going to also contour my nose with it as well. Right here I just took that Black Radiance face powder and deepened my contour a little bit in the cheeks and in the temple area. Really? Don't mind him, he's cray cray. But this is my mineralized skin finish in dark and I'm just using that just to kind of soften up my highlight a little bit and not make it too strong. And then I'm taking my shadows from the top of my eye and just going in on the bottom to make it a little bit smoky. Now I'm putting mascara on my struggle lashes on the bottom. And I'm taking my favorite blush in Romantic Rose and placing that on the apples of my cheeks. This is a highlight, oops, this is a highlight by Hard Candy, it's called Tiki, and I'm just going to place that right at the top points of my cheekbones. Adding a little chapstick, baby lips, just to soften my lips a bit, and then I'm lining my lips with a Rimmel pencil, I forgot the name of it, but I'll um, put it in the description bar below. But I line my lips with this Rimmel pencil and then I go in with a Milani um, matte, I think it's the matte naked, and, um, and then I place some lip gloss on top. Then I very dramatically spray Fix Plus on my face for the effect and that's it ladies this is the final look i hope you enjoyed all the products will be below and hopefully you will tune in for my hair video to put that u-part wig on so thanks for watching bye